so glad you guys are here. I can't believe what happened to poor Kirk. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry you had to witness such an atrocity. This is clearly a tragic accident. An accident? I think we need to consider some of the evidence before we rule it an accident. Seriously, the man fell on his saw. And that is distracting you from the actual pieces of evidence right there. Evidence! I'm mortified that this happened on my property! And were you expecting this to happen on your property, ma'am? Yes! No! Cool it. The homeowner's traumatized. Fair. But I think you need to realize that there's a syringe next to that man's body. Perhaps there was someone who injected an air bubble into the man's neck. Causing him to die. That's just a myth. That only happens in movies. Well, there's an apple next to the body with a bite taken out of it. Maybe he was poisoned with the apple. Really? Like there's some wicked witch poisoning apples? This isn't a fairy tale. I can't believe this is even a question. It's obviously an accident. I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Maybe someone pushed him into the saw. I was the only one home. I only left for 20 minutes. He was like that when I came back. Briggs, I've had enough of your ridiculous ideas. The man fell on his own saw out of his own incompetence. Diane, what's going on? Melanie, what are you doing here? I saw the cop cars. Kirk wasn't answering his phone. Oh my god, is he dead? I'm afraid so. Oh my Kirk. It wasn't the perfect husband, but I never would have wanted something like this to have happened to him. Don't worry, ma'am. We're investigating his obvious murder. Murder? Really? Just look at this. Look at the crime scene. This clearly staged. Who who drinks vodka while working with power tools? And why is there a syringe next to the body? It's not like... He drank during the day all the time. He was always careless. Hell, he could have been a heroin addict for all I know. Or maybe that's something the murderer would want us to think, now wouldn't she? If he had been impaired, his decision making would have been compromised. I don't, I don't believe that. I think this man was a, a master craftsman. I mean, he wouldn't make that kind of mistake. Look at those lounge chairs. I didn't make those. I bought those at Orchard Hardware. And the table and chairs? Ikea! I've had enough of your goofy ideas. We're writing this up as a workplace accident. Alright. I'll call a team, get them to clean this up, and I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Well, Melanie. It looks like I won't need to visit your house anymore. Hello? Hi. We received a noise complaint. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it down. Who's at the door at this hour? It, it's no one, sweetie. Just, just go sit back down, okay? I'm, I'm really sorry. We'll, we'll keep it down. <laughs> 